Hello there, grade 5. And today we are going to learn about how do non-flowering plants reproduce. Kasi nga, yung last topic natin, how do a flowering, flowering plants reproduce? Okay, dito naman, non-flowering. So, those are plants na hindi nagbe-bear ng flowers. Okay? How do non-flowering plants reproduce? Okay, sige. Some plants don't bear flowers and don't grow from seeds. Okay? Tira nyo yun, imagine nyo. And th these are non-flowering plants and they grow through spores. These spores are actually cells. Okay? Cells yan sila. Spores. Okay? Y yung, yung sinabi kanina dyan. That these are non-flowering plants and they grow through spores. Spores that looks like this. They look like this pala, no? A spore is a cell in a seedless plant. From this cell, a new plant can grow even without fertilization. Kasi since cell nga siya, like uh, knowing cells, bacteria, virus, they tend to just multiply without further fertilization. Wala nang, wala nang fertilization na nangyayari. Wala nang, like yung um, how animals do, no? how humans do pero yung sa in this case nga sa sa non-flowering plants they they can grow even without fertilization spores are covered by a tough capsule that protects it from the weather okay sporangia ang tawag diyan sporangia okay, yan 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 group na yan yung maliliit na th this is the one that uh, that protects the spores. The spores are inside this. Yung mga sporangia na. Yung sporangia yung uh, nag uh, pro protect sa kanya. Okay. Anyway, uh, there will be a definition later. Okay, what's inside is ito na nga, yung, yung cell. Cell ng spores. Mosses and ferns are examples of plants that use spores. Okay, yung mosses is itong nasa left side. And these are examples of ferns naman yung nasa right side. Okay? Okay. Moses, not Moses. Okay? Hindi si Moses, ha? Baka, baka akala nyo si Moses. Okay. Moses have these capsule-like tips where spores are stored. Ito. The tip of, of uh, yung mga Moses, na mga moss, meron silang this capsule-like figure in which the spores are actually stored inside. Inside it. Parang shell siya. Uh, protected by this uh, capsule-like figure here. Okay. Yan sa taas. Ganun din. Okay? As capsules ripen, spores will be released and blown by the wind. Okay, ganun lang yung parang uh, if you remember uh, sa last topic natin, seed dispersion. Parang ganun ba? It's like seed dispersion. But in this case, parang halos wind uh, possible water as well. Wind and water lang. Ganun lang yung uh, possible na dispersion nitong uh, spores na to. Okay? Okay, ito yung uh, figure kung paano nga ba nag-start nag yung uh, yung mosses. Okay. So first, we have in number one, a figure of a fully grown moss. Okay. So number two, this shows where the capsule ripens and spores are released. Okay, but once matatanggal lang siya or the capsule will break apart because it's already ripe. So spores will basically be released. Saan mo pupunta yung spores? Basically on the ground lang. Mauhulog lang sila. Naturally, through gravity and also wind. If it's raining, then it's possible because of rain as well. Okay. So, the cell slowly grows to becoming a moss plant. So, from 3 to 4. Continuous na yan siya. And sa number 5 naman, shows the growth progress of a moss plant. Start small until it grows to a fully grown moss as well. Okay? Okay, ferns naman. Ferns live in shady places like forest, fields, swamps, or areas near streams. Okay, yan ang mga... Example ng ferns. Okay, wait lang. Parang, I'll just go back for a while. 
Okay. Mga ferns kasi this is common eh. Okay. Uh, ferns live in shady places like forests, fields, swamps, or areas near streams. Ferns are known to be one of the oldest plants naman dito sa, sa planet. Ferns have leaves, if you notice, unlike yung mosses kanina, wala. Okay, diretso lang sila. Examples of ferns. Meron tayong bird's nest fern. This is one of the most common ferns. Kung baga, if uh, you happen to observe, if you visit friends or family friends, or baka sa bahay nyo, you have this. This one is also, hindi to masyadong common sa atin, the staghorn fern. But this one, the oak fern, this is also one of the common ferns dito sa atin. So, yung bird's nest fern, the, the size may vary for all types of ferns. Depende yan. Meron malaki, meron mal, 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 maliliit. Okay, so it depends. Okay, the green leathery leaves of ferns are called fronds. Okay, young leaves. Okay. Young fronds start out curled. Yeah, no? Curled siya, okay. Uh, let me fix the photo first. Okay, I'm back. So, young fronds start out curled at the base of the roots. Okay. Curl yet, curl yan sila mag -grow. And the base of the roots are called fiddleheads. Ito. Yan. Fiddlehead yan sila. There. See? Okay. They slowly unroll as they grow. Okay. May, meron tayong time-lapse video later after this one. Spores of ferns are released from its sporangia. Okay? These are sporangia, yung mga malilit na nagko-connect dyan that clump together. They are, they are sporangia. Sila yung nagpo-protect. It protects the spores. Okay? Or the spore inside. Okay. Sporangia clump together is called a sarus. So, yung mga tiny bits are called sporangia. And clump together they are called a sorus. And all these are sori. Para sa akin, I, I, I'd like to pronounce it as sori. Pero, searching further, it's pronounced as sori. So, I'll take any pronunciation. Pero, yun na nga, logically, like a cactus, cacti, bronchus, bronchi, alveolus, alveoli, octopus, octopi. So, parang, Sorus, sorry. So, para sa akin lang yun. Okay. So, again, these are called sporangia, yung mga maliliit that are clumped together and forming one sorus. Okay. And all of these are sorry. So, hindi tayo yung exact uh, spore. The spores are inside the sorus. Okay? Claro ba? These are sporangia. Clumped together, they are called the sorus. And inside it is where we can find the spores. Okay, so when you see a fern plant, it, it, you don't actually see the, the spores, but you see the sorus or the sori. Okay, claro? So stop motion, I mean time lapse tayo of examples. Oh, by the way, additional information lang, like how they, they reproduce nga, no? they basically just fall off from their... Uh, once they are ripe na, like yung kanina sa, sa mosses, once ripe na, mag open and falls to the ground. It's either through gravi gravity, uh, wind, and water. Possible by humans or animals, ma accidentally shakes the plant as we pass through. Nauhulog yung, yung sorus sa ground. And therefore, maggrow. grow Okay. So, we have two clips after this one. First one is the mosses and then the fern. Kung lang siya, time lapse. One minute each. Okay.
Sorry about the pause. The pauses. So go on lang siya, slowly growing. Up. So if you observe, no, it's all green, and it spreads further, pa. It's like there are worms growing. There are few, but as it goes further, kung mapapansin nyo, bigla naman siya nagiging green. I mean, the color green tends to be more clear. Or clearer, rather, sorry. Okay, going to the next naman is yung fern. Okay, March 26 day by day yan day by day uh, time lapse so ganyan lang yung growth niya again the same with mosses lang nahuhulog lang din yung uh, yung sorus along with the spores as if they are dancing no pero no most likely, I don't know if it's because of the wind, pero I think it's indoor. This this was recorded uh, indoor. So I don't think that it will affect. Guru yung pagwiggle na yan is just part of the usual growth lang talaga. So there you go. That's basically it. You were able to see and observe how uh, non-flowering plants grow compared to those na, na grow through flowers and seeds. This one naman is through cells called spores. Okay? So that's basically it.